All right, we're going to take a look at the ERS, the evacuation and rigging strap. So this is just going to be a simple overview and an application for rigging somebody for a horizontal drag or for a vertical lower or hoist. So when we look at that, we have a gray and black webbing on there. If we clip into anything black, it's going to be weight rated for any kind of vertical lower or haul systems. Uh, if we have something like these handles here that are just gray, those are meant for horizontal uh, dragging. So when we look at this, the handle in the middle is usually what's going to uh, what we grab first and that's going to be on the chest and that's going to orient it correctly for us. So we have two loops at the bottom with which the legs go into, then the two loops up here are what the arms go through and then this flips over the back. And we'll show you how to rig that. So if I'm going to be putting this on, I'll come in with the handle, placing that on their chest and then take each leg and this will just come right through and get that right on up. So we don't have to reach behind them, especially if they've got a bunch of kit or anything like that on. Once it's here, I take the next and move their arms right through. Now with my handle, I put that right behind the head. Now if I've got somebody that doesn't have kit on and I need to bring that in, using just a locker or non-locking carabiner will sense that in depending on what the size is. We can get somebody from about a 6'8 or 6'9 all the way down to about a 4'5 for kind of a rescue task force type of utilization. So on that, if I need to cinch that up before I do a drag, I can bring in those arm portions. We actually have pocket sewn right in here also that I can clip together for someone a little bit smaller. But to keep them in that harness, I can just come in with a non-locker, a regular locker, and then he's packaged and ready to go. This carabiner, if we want to, can also be placed, I'm just going to lean him up here real quick, it can also be placed behind the shoulders, which is exactly where we go when we do any kind of hoisting. And so I can take that carabiner, rig that right through there, and then he's ready to be dragged. So I can use the handle for a one person drag, or if we have two people, each person can grab on there and then be able to do a linear drag on there. As we said before, if we're grabbing just the gray portion and pulling, that's just for horizontal. If we rig anything into the black, then we can go vertical. All right, we're looking at the ERS for doing a vertical movement. So we're gonna be lowering or we're gonna be hauling them up. So this is something that can be put on somebody before they get put onto a litter or something like a foxtrot. And then whatever you put them on is now hoistable because we're actually hoisting off something that's rated for a class three versus any piece of, of the litter. So when we're looking at that, we're just gonna go over one more time is we wanna make sure that we click anything with black involved in it. The black is what is going to be the reinforced stitching for vertical movement and not just hit into the gray like that. We want to make sure we get a black. So we got blacks right underneath the shoulder. Uh, we obviously have black in here. So where you clip in is also going to be dependent on the height of your casualty or the person you're trying to move. So if we have somebody that's pretty much 6'5 or above, we may be clicking in our carabiner right in here to the handle. Doing that here. With somebody that's 6'2", like we have right now, this is actually going to be wasted space for us when we throw somebody over. So to be able to rig up in the configuration we have right here, we're going to come right in and go right behind their shoulders, grabbing the blacks, just like that. And that is where the carabiner is going to go. So that is going to be our orientation for Lorna. If we're going over a parapet or out a window, now the rescuers actually have a handle to be able to lower them so it doesn't shock load your system when you're lowering. And that is where we're rigged. You'll see two other holes right here. We'll get into that in another video where we can actually lower the profile down where their arms are above their head and we can utilize that instead of using something like a handcuff knot. So this would be the configuration right here. If we find that this is, this is actually pretty tight on hand, but if we're doing somebody that's a little bit smaller, we can also go in with another carabiner on this side or we can look into the front here and we can then bring that in even tighter by clicking the carabiner in here when we get into somebody probably five foot or less and roll them.